Welcome everybody here, you two, to myself, um, to a special live edition of, um, I just said 113, but we are here for 113, but of Is This Music, which is the correct uh, pronunciation of the title because <laughs> of the question mark, exclamation, question mark, exclamation. My name is Justin Spenner. Um, I am your host. I am full of uh, neutral manic energy, so um, I welcome you. We have a whole slew of guests um, here today, and we're going to start out with um, Ant Play Duo. It's uh, Maya Bernardo and Hannah Levinson, and Maya, Hannah. Um, Hello. And, uh, or Hannah. Hannah. Yeah. Hannah. 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 Okay, great. Um, I, for some reason, like, I always, more and more, there seems to be, like, discussion about names when I'm talking to people, mostly because, like, I stumble about, like, what I just did, yeah. you know. It's fine, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> I make a mistake already. Um, but, uh, viola, violin, duo, um, and, uh, I mean, I've performed with you before, so I can only imagine the, the quality and the amazement of this duo, because I know that you are an incredible player, um, but uh, I try. Um, but how did you two start playing together? How did this, this duo start? So we've actually been playing together for, I guess, 11 years now. We started playing back in 2012. We both went to Oberlin for our undergrad, but we actually didn't really know each other there. Hannah was a couple years older than me, so she was like, like a too little cool. too cool to hang out. You know, just <laughs> too like cool a younger for me. person. <laughs> um, but we had a friend in common, and she was not in the conservatory, so she didn't play music. But um, we kind of met up again at her wedding, which happened right after school for me. And I was about to move to New York. Hannah already lived there. Hannah was my guide, oh. and you know, sage gave sage advice. The, the wisdom that comes with being. Like uh, three years older. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very important difference. Yeah. So then yeah. I came to New York and we ended up, I don't know, in New York there's always like a new, new music group being created, uh -huh. a new one dying, a new one being, you know, rising yeah. from the rising ashes. Rising from those ashes, <laughs> yeah. So we ended up in one of these groups together. Sure. And so we started playing together more. And this group was having some like, Somehow they knew some very rich people who were sponsoring this like chamber music week on Fire Island, like beach vacation. Yeah. And then so they like sent an email to the group and was like, "Do you guys like? Does anybody want to come up with like a small chamber ensemble and, and come and uh, play some concerts on Fire Island?" And we can't remember who called who, but one of us called the other. And was just like, let's get a vacation. I remember <laughs> being on the phone, but I can't remember if yeah. I dialed or you dialed. And and so we were just like, we need to go to the beach. And then it's like, what are we gonna play on the beach? <laughs> and, 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 yeah. And then, and then we yeah. Literally, we like went through the library and we're like, what about? Let's pick the hardest, weirdest music that we could possibly play on the beach. So we rehearsed a lot, and yeah. we got to the beach and hung out, and then we're just like, <laughs> and like we had like you know that's but before our iPads too, yeah. so we we had like cut and pasted. We had spent like an entire day up at Hannah's apartment in like Washington Heights, Making cutting and pasting giant like scores. huge <laughs> scores. So it's like, and so we were at the, like in a beach house, and there are all these families, and everyone's just like ready for a good time, and we're like, we're gonna play some stuff from Derek Stone. <laughs> like, we have some Serious intense music. music. Just so you know. And you're like in flippy floppy. Yeah. Yeah. Like we're in a wet like, like, yeah. you know. Behind us is like the literal ocean. And we're just like, this is what we're going to do for you today. But, so, funny experience, but we like found out that we really liked playing together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, even though there wasn't a ton of music, we decided that like the people are more important than the music, so let's yeah. pick the people and then make the music. Right, right. So, well, that's what I was gonna, yeah. gonna ask is, is that's always what's um, when, whenever I, I come across like an ensemble, like, you know, whatever, a non traditional ensemble, like my brain goes to like, was there, was there actually rep to start? Or, you know, in violent viola, I imagine there was, but like, yeah, how much was there? There's there's a it's small kind of amount of rep, but a lot of it was either written for couples that were married uh -huh. mm -hmm. or siblings. 
Yeah. So it's like kind of like these funny like little piece for a party. Or like oh, wedding wow. pieces. Or yeah. Like, like okay. A lot of kind of like small incidental music that's written for, mm-hmm. or just even like just small pieces that are like short. And, and like Mozart wrote some. Mozart, you know, there's yeah, like, yeah. like Mark people heard. I'm gonna say he's probably yeah. that guy. Do you know that? <laughs> yeah. That guy? But okay. but there wasn't a lot that spoke to us. Yeah, I would say yeah. so. So you had to make your, we started commissioning. Yeah. Right. And what does that what does that look like like off the bat like going back? So this is not like eleven years ago or yeah. was was that, so was it like in that first year? Like twenty thirteen, I think, were well, our so first like commission. Our first asks were at like the end, the very beginning of twenty thirteen. Yeah. And so we sent out the, like our first concert in New York City, where we both lived. Like was that December twenty twelve, and then in our next thing was maybe in February we sent out emails. So like a couple of different people who we wanted to work with. And at that point we had the advantage of being like very young. Like we were in our very in our early twenties. Mm-hmm. And so it's like everyone we were asking were also we were all the same age. Right. And so it was like a very much like less a less expensive commission yeah. at that point. <laughs> well, right? Of course, because like that wasn't something that we had. We didn't have the like time that you couldn't have apply really for a lot of grants. Like so we were just like, you know, we'll play your piece, we'll record your piece, we'll do whatever. Like so it was but it's a barter system, system. Yeah. Right, right. for a while with people we knew. Yeah. For sure. And then sure. that's expanded as we have kind of grown this whole organization and you can afford to pay people mm-hmm. and apply for more and apply for grants and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And we have like, you know, the ability now, I think, as a more established group to ask people who we don't know. Yeah. Right. You know, right. and so it's. We're a nonprofit, so it's, yeah. like, it's like just evolved. I was just going to ask, and I was afraid that that would just be interesting to me, but did you did you incorporate? We did. In 2017, <laughs> we incorporated and became a nonprofit. It's very exciting. Well, that's great. Stuff. That's great. Let's talk about that paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> In detail. Um, Bureaucracy yeah. is amazing. Um, so, and, and we, um, but I think like we've commissioned or like premiered over like 45 pieces at this point and you know it's the same as like older music not all of them stick around (laughs) right right. but um i think we when you're commissioning kind of or like getting that many new pieces we feel like we've really uh grown to have a repertoire that we enjoy and we can uh we have choices of what we want to play and i think those first couple years we were always combining with like rep that wasn't written for us Mm -hmm. Um, or the, something slightly older with something new, and it's been really nice to get to the point where we can just kind of choose from our pieces. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I feel like things come in and out of style as well for us. Like we like let some pieces like from maybe 2016 or 2017 like go for a couple of seasons, right. then we bring them back if we are like. Well, that's cool. So it's, it's nice yeah. to not always having to like because that's 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 a, that's another thing that kind of strikes me. At, you know, sometimes is that it's just. I, I see, I see, like these small groups, you know, like commissioning and commissioning and commissioning, but there's never, there's, I don't see like a lot of return back. Mm-hmm. And it's like the, the world premiere is fantastic, but like, what about that second performance? Yeah. What about that third performance? That, that's what like makes a piece live. So now I think like our, as an ensemble, like our inclination and interests have gone towards kind of longer pieces. Mm-hmm. So when we're doing our commissioning, we usually commission two new works a season now. Yeah and try to have them be like, you know, a 20 to 30 minute piece, so then we can kind of pair them. And so then we um, compare them with something that was already written for us or another new piece, and then we'll premiere it, and then the next kind of season be programming that for our concerts not in New York, you know, for our our traveling shows, so that we can, we do think it's really important to get life out of works and not just (laughs) one and done. Right, Right. just like here, we get to do it twice. Even, yeah, even, yeah. even like the two concerts, it's like the pieces already get to, get yeah, to yeah. go with them. The, yeah, the, the repeated programs, it's mm-hmm. like, it's it's so nice. <laughs> it's like to get that, for everybody to get that second crack, like not because it's gonna be better or worse, but just because it's like, it's again. Yeah. You know, like that's worth so much. Um, so, yeah, so, so the, okay, so you, since you've worked together, you know, for 10 years, you've created music, you've, you've been like the whatever like the the spark of creation of all this all this music and everything um i have a question in my brain that i I hope i'll be able to articulate like when you get a piece of music like what do you look for for the 
other player that makes makes you go, oh, this is going to be fun, you know? Like, when you're looking at that score, you know, and then you're like, you look at, you see the viola part, you're like, that's going to be cool <laughs> to play around, you know? So, like, flip it on its head a little bit, because we all, you know, it's less about, like, what are you good at? It's, like, I guess I'm asking, like, what do you like, think she's good at? what is she good at? at? <laughs> <laughs> Compliment me, please. <laughs> The tone of Hannah's viola, so I feel like I love when someone like lets that shine, and then you know, she's great. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel like there's just like so much. I don't know when I look at a score if there's anything that I like pick out that I'm like. So I think it's more like I'm like, Haha, look at that shift. <laughs> 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 you know, like, like, what the other person is gonna have to endure, like hopefully yeah, yeah. that's not on my part. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like with Hannah, like with viola too, it's an interesting thing because like our our instruments, right, they have this like overlap and mm -hmm. then we both have the one string that's, that's yeah. wider, but they're also like the timbral differences between the two instruments. But the viola can off sometimes be treated slightly violinistically and so then she'll just be like a very high where it almost looks like a violin part or like, I mean, it's just interesting to see how people want to treat the viola. I feel like the violin, people kind of know what to do with me, <laughs> like what to do with the violin. And the viola, there's like a little nebulous. Yeah, there's just like a little more growth and like little like more to play. Yeah, yeah. Less, I, re less re repertoire, you know. I think there's maybe a little bit more imagination, like fresh imagination. That you know. lots of viola repertoire. Well, there's yeah. a lot of there's, there's lots. Lot. I'm not saying there's little, <laughs> levels, but like yes, it's comparatively. True. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think another thing that's like we're really when we like see a score, it's really about like how are the parts interacting. Because like that's what we are interested in, and we talk about this a lot. Of like, we have this philosophy of being like more than mm. these two instruments. Like, we don't want it just to be like, and now the violin plays, and now the viola plays. But like, because we have this overlap and this like slight expansion, we think of it as being kind of like this super instrument that becomes something yeah. that's more than like the sum of its parts. Yeah. So we like really are looking excited about scores we get, and excited about working with composers like all of these people here today who can like really approach the instruments as like thinking of the whole yeah. because especially with a duo like we are very in sync yeah and it's like a very particular kind of performance relationship and personal relationship mm -hmm. and so we can kind of meld in this way that um, can create something like really interesting so that's that's what excites us in the score is when we can kind of see that potential. Cool. Is that so? Is I think we got like maybe an inkling of like where the name came from in that answer too. Where does the name come from? Uh, the name. So we made like a this this first big concert that we did where we in New York where we decided that we were going to be an ensemble and not just going to the beach. <laughs> and we, we were just a beach ensemble. <laughs> <laughs> And so we were kind of like playing around with names. It's like this weird thing where it was another new music ensemble that we were both a part of. And there was this piece where we all would be listening to headphones and we had like a concerto in front of us. And then a little voice in our headphone would be like, and play, and play. And then we that's, had like play that's little things. I, and we kind of liked, like we, we a lot of times we'll just, we just say like, and play. And like, but we like that it's like, Playful. We like that there's like something immediate about it. We like that it's about like exploration and mm -hmm. like the interaction between mm -hmm. the two of us because I feel like our relationship is also very playful and like we're very close. We've like worked and like the, like our friendship. And <laughs> <laughs> one of like, one of you is really close. <laughs> <laughs> very close to the other. Like who knows? Yeah. <laughs> um, Keep you guessing. <laughs> so like, that's that's your kind of. Where, where, where my brain kind of thought too, like I think that there's a very um, hilarious moment, no matter how serious the music is, it's that, it's that sniff, you know, you know, which is just, okay. like it's just like, and play, <laughs> like no matter how prepared, it's just, it's go. Play. Yeah, yeah, it's go, go right? Yeah. See what happens, you know? Um, that gets lost sometimes, but it's all very stiff and everything. So that's, yeah. I, that's great that that's, that's where it is. So. 
Um, let's let's talk for a minute about this upcoming program with 113, and then we're going to start bringing some composers on as we go. Oh yeah. Um, so, um, what do you think about the program? <laughs> <laughs> Dish. No. Um, it's uh, you know I know all these composers you know um, fairly well and everything, and so it's to um, to do one of their pieces on a program is is like. Okay, to do all their pieces on the program is kind of ridiculous. So, um, how does it feel like tra traveling through their weird brains in one <laughs> evening? Uh, it's definitely the most notes we've received in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you mean like dots or notes? Like, <laughs> no, like dots, notes the on dots, the dots. Like, okay. no, literal, on the yeah. little, uh, yeah, dots on the score. Um, but no, it's great. I mean, I think that we haven't had a project like this in a while where we're kind of doing an entire night of premieres mm -hmm. by like, you know, composers that we've never, we've worked with you guys maybe in slightly other contexts, but not really. Um, but not all together. Yeah. Not all together. And um, so it's really, and I think this is like such an incredible collective for the work that they've done and how they, they each have very different personalities and interests and approaches. Um, but so it, it's great to kind of see all of these and then fit them together. Uh, so it's, yeah, cause I think it'll, it's like a very nice like arc and like journey going through the five pieces during the. Yeah, and I think even though everyone is very different, there are kind of these these ties that can be found throughout yeah. the program that I think will start to connect the pieces a little bit. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, how about, how about like a uh, like a, a one sentence pitch of uh, of why somebody why why somebody who um, maybe doesn't know that they like new music should should come see this one sentence pitch well it could be six <laughs> sentences I'm not counting I did I, I was writing grants all day I don't want to count anybody's words <laughs> yeah. a twenty five word yeah. Chapter limit. yeah. <laughs> Tell your artist statement in 100 characters. Yeah. Um, I, I think that it's like it. You get to explore the instruments really fully. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you're interested at all in like the timbres of, of string instruments, I feel like this program will kind of give you the gamut of like all the things that yeah. we can do. And so it's like just really interesting to sit back and enjoy. I mean, I just love string instruments. I just think. They're the best. <laughs> <laughs> and the Partial, they're the finest. I just like I love them. I think there's like there's so much there's so, so much sonic like mm -hmm. excitement and um, intricacy that can come out, and they're all exploring different facets of it. Cool. So I think that there's something come for, for the timbre. Yeah. Come for the timbre. <laughs> Stay for the cheese. Is there cheese at this concert? No. There's no cheese. Maybe. Stay. Now there's cheese. Now there's <laughs> <laughs> yes. Be there. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but yeah. So come for the timbre. Come if you've ever seen a violin before and want to know um, what it actually sounds like. <laughs> if you've ever seen a viola before and want to know what does it actually sound like, uh, come to, come to this concert.